All right, so welcome to this video. It's gonna be a quick run through on installing ULX, getting super admin, basic MOTD edit editing, and then resetting ULX data in case you get uh, stuck or break ULX. So let's jump over to the mod manager and just install ULX to start off with. So this will only take a few seconds. And then once this is installed, we'll wanna start the server up. So let's go over to the console. And let's start the server up. So you'll see here that, whoop, that it loaded the uh, the add-ons, and then you can also see the add-ons loading here. So it's looking pretty good so far. So now we should be able to just hit this join server button, and uh, it will connect you. Uh, you might get a little pop up first, just verifying that you do want to connect. Um, once we're in though, um, now what we want to do is go over to this console here and we, we want to just type the following command, ulx space add user space your username. So for me, it's drizmans and then super admin, which is the highest rank on ulx by default. So if we come in game, we'll see that we've got super admin. So now we can jump the menu open uh, and we can head over to settings and server. And this is where you'll find the MOTD settings where you can disable it. You can use the MOTD generator or you can just link it to your forums or something like that. Um, so that's how to uh, do some basic stuff. I will also mention that if uh, you've, you want to disable noclip, you can disable noclip here. Um, so yeah, um, another thing that's worth going through is resetting ULX data in case you mess it up. Uh, which is something that you know people seem to sometimes do quite often when they're changing up the groups and adding like an owner role it's quite easy to mess that up so if you just want to like start from fresh again that's pretty simple all you'll want to do is turn your server off go over to the file management tab go into your gary's mod folder and then your data folder and you'll find two fold three sorry three folders in here um, I guess you don't need to delete this one, ULX logs, you know, that's just logs, but, um, you know, you'll, you'll just need to delete, uh, the ULib folder and I'd also advise deleting the ULX one. So I'm going to go ahead and delete all three of these. Um, and then if you were to start the server back up, um, your ULX data and everything would be reset. So doing it through the mod manager won't reset the actual data itself. So that's a quick run through on getting started with ULX. Uh, thanks for watching this video and uh, have a nice day.